Photovoltaic silicon-based solar cells have been around for many years, and without them we wouldn't have explored space. These type of solar cells have been powering satellites since the early 50s. Technology has now advanced to such an extent that solar panels are a mass-produced product that have become an economically viable option for people to try to generate their own domestic electricity. Photovoltaic is generally referred to within the industry as PV and should not be confused with solar thermal water heating systems. As you navigate throughout our site, you'll find information that's designed to both educate and inform you about how this clean energy system could be beneficial to your energy needs both now and in the future. With changes brought in by the government through legislation in April 2010, which includes the introduction of the feed-in tariff, there's never been a better time to move to PV solar power. Feed-in tariffs were introduced to the UK on the 1st of April 2010. This is the result of government bringing in legislation to ensure your electricity provider buys back from you all the electricity you create at a fixed price now, which is then indexed linked and tax-free for the next 25 years. This means it now makes great economic sense to install a PV solar system, while at the same time helping to reduce global warming and your carbon footprint by adopting a green sustainable energy source. Let me briefly explain how the feed-in tariff works and how it will benefit you. The feed-in tariff's financial benefit is a three-stage system. To simplify how it works, I'll explain each stage to you individually. Let's start with the actual feed-in tariff itself. For every unit of electricity you generate by installing a PV solar system, your electricity provider will pay you 41.3 pence. They'll pay you this regardless of whether you use the electricity or not. Moving on to the savings, for every unit of electricity you generate and use from your PV solar system, it means that you don't need to purchase this from your supplier. The average cost of a unit is 12 pence. You can verify what you're being charged by your supplier by checking against your latest electricity bill. And finally, the export tariff. Any electricity generated by your PV solar system and not used in your home will be exported to your supplier and they'll pay you a further 3 pence per unit as an export tariff, which means you'll receive 41.3 pence plus 3 pence, giving you a total of 44.3 pence per unit for each unit that's exported. So now let's look at an example of how installing a PV solar system can save you money. So here's your installed PV system and it's generating 4,000 kilowatts or units of electricity per year. You'd then be paid 4,000 times 41.3 pence, which equals 1,652 pounds. Assuming you use 3,000 units from your PV solar system, this means you don't have to purchase these units from your supplier, saving you a further 3,000 times 12p, which equals 360. On this example, it means you'll export 1,000 units at a further 3 pence per unit, which is 1,000 times 3p, which equals 30 pounds. This generates a total tax-free return of 2,042 pounds per year, which is index-linked for 25 years with a system life expectancy of 40 years. At this stage, you're probably asking yourself, now, where does the feed-in tariff money come from and who's paying for it? Well, RAIA, the Renewable Energy Association, states that the cost will be socialised, i.e. shared across all users of electricity in all sectors. On the government's current proposal, they estimate the scheme will add £10 to electricity bills by 2020. This means for those who have not invested in PV solar systems are helping to pay for those who have. 